Hi everybody, Paula here, and it is five o'clock in the morning on my way to the airport, my favorite time of the morning to go. I am headed to Denver, Colorado today. There's a couple of partners to meet, and most importantly, this has a little bit of uh, business mixed with pleasure. I am seeing my sister who is going to have her first baby in the next three months. She's five months along, so really excited about that. But this week was an especially important one for me to reflect and pause and take a beat because Mental Health Awareness Month is this month. And I don't think it just takes a month for us to think about the things that we really, really, really need to harness in on. And I've noticed that a lot with my team being across, you know, across the globe, on the other side of the globe, uh, initiatives that we're doing getting a little bit more dicey, things changing, a little bit more about how we're adding process into the way that we optimize our internal workings. That's all been a lot of change. And with change comes stress for humans. It's not natural for us to just adapt very quickly. The interesting thing on the paradoxical side of what I just said is that throughout the course of the pandemic, we did a great job of pivoting, adapting, staying indoors, letting the elderly go to the grocery store first, giving us our turn to go second, wearing masks, putting on gloves, doing what we had to do to get it done as a society. So it's not that it's not possible. I think just in some regards, it's not comfortable. And often on the other side of overcoming uncomfort is where true growth lies. So this is Paula checking in, saying hello, hitting one of those really, really early flights to get to a really, really busy day. And hopefully I'm sending just a little bit of positive energy your way and a little bit of understanding to the fact that not everybody is gonna vocalize the fact that they're struggling. And it's important for us to check in and to act with kindness at every turn. Have a great day.